Mark 3.17, Jesus gave his disciples, James and John, a new nickname, which translates to Sons of Thunder. It's a powerful image and message. See, Jesus knew that James and John were fierce and fiery. Just look to Luke 9.54 when the brothers asked Jesus if they should call down fire on villagers who refused to give them a place to rest for the night. As with all things, Jesus took the opportunity to teach love, grace, and kindness. And that is one of the inspirations for Sons of Thunder and the new spin-off series, Sons of Thunder Redemption. You understand that? I do, I get it. But this says be quick to listen. Like almost like it's a cure for anger. Like all we have to do is just listen to what someone's trying to tell us or what God's telling us. In the original, we follow Simon, a motorcycle gang member, as he seeks to spread the love of Christ to the people God places in his way. When we last saw Simon, he chose to flee from the devil's hand rather than take revenge. I guess I'll have to rely on Jesus then. The Lord's plan for Simon led him to visit one of his former recruits to the devil's hand, Jacob Lewis. Now in prison, Jacob is a troubled man with a checkered past who, like Simon, has made a lot of bad choices. For over a year, Simon visits Jacob in prison, and they bond over their love of motorcycles and their common past with the devil's hand. A year of Simon asking his go-to question, do you believe in Jesus, leaves a deep impression on Jacob, who ultimately experiences the kind of transformation and change that only Jesus can have on a person. Have you ever been given a second chance? Well, I've been given way too many. You really want to be where you're at? Before Simon returns to the open road, he gives Jacob his Bible to help him in his new life. And that's what Sons of Thunder Redemption is all about. A reminder of a past life, full of hatred and broken trust. Who broke it? I did. Like the disciples, John and James, both Simon and now Jacob must use their fierce and fiery ways to do good in the world. Jacob must seek out those he wronged in the past and ask for forgiveness. He starts with the one he wounded the most, his ex-fiancee, Sandy. Jake? Sandy, hi. What are you doing here? So what happens next for Simon? Well, let's just say his story is far from over. And Jacob? Well, his journey for redemption gets started in the new spin-off series, Sons of Thunder Redemption. It premieres exclusively on Pure Flix this January. Don't miss it. <laughs>